everyone. Welcome to Long Me by Jacqueline. This is Jacqueline. I had originally planned for all of the Curves videos to come out in one week as one video, and then the video was ridiculously long. So this is week two, but it's still block two, which is the curves. So here's technique two. So for our next technique, this one is going to remind you of a records path block. And before, we were making basically a vertical or horizontal cut. And in this version, we're going to be crossing um, one vertical side and one horizontal side. So again, it can be any curve. It doesn't have to be a circle, but make your random curve starting from one side and making your way either to the top or bottom. And there are your curves. And I must need to change this blade because I need to clean up a few threads again. And again, you'll pull your left twits and your right twits, mix and match. And there is your next improv curve. So these blocks will have to be trimmed down. And when you take a seam, you lose about a half an inch of fabric. But because we're taking effectively a vertical seam and a horizontal seam in a manner of speaking, this piece is going to seem smaller relative to this piece. So what I would do, my recommendation, whenever you're crossing two sides is to use this method. Hold your curve and finger crease. You want that mark in your fabric at the center of the curve. And then do your other side. And when you take this to the machine, my preferred way of doing this is to match the center. So from the center out, worry about the fabric being nice and smooth. Do not worry about these two ends meeting up. These ends will not meet up. So in this version, your fabric is shrinking this way. So your ends will still meet. In this version, your fabric is shrinking this way and this way. So your ends are not gonna meet. So just meet in the middle. Sew from the center out, turn the whole thing around and sew from the center out going the other direction. And that is how you do a corner cut improv piece. And you'll take this in sheen and stitch those up. So you don't have to worry about trimming and squaring those blocks to a certain size at this point, but do um, know that this block is gonna be the biggest because it has a single seam. This block has become a rectangle because both of my seams go the same direction and have shrunk this way, but not that way. And then this block and this block are going to be square-ish but quite a bit smaller than the blocks with just a single seam. So do give yourself a little bit of room around the edges when you're cutting those curves. You might want to go, not want to go all the way too, too close to the edge so that you have plenty of room to square up your blocks and trim them and sort of just neaten the edges later on down the road when we get to that point. Okay, 
Okay, so after stitching those down and giving them a good pressing, here are our improv curves. So these two are left and right twists of each other. These are the pair that were kind of reminiscent of a um, drunkard's path. We are sort of mopping out a corner. So I hope you enjoyed our block two, which is scrappy improv curves. Whether you're doing a wavy four patch, whether you're doing a stack and scramble with as many cuts as you like, whether you're cutting off the corner in this sort of drunkard's path reminiscent block, or keeping it simple with just a single left twix, right twix curved block. So thanks again for joining me at Long Arming by Jacqueline. Um, if you would like to share your content, I would love for you to use um, hashtag Long Arming by Jacqueline or LBJ underscore joy sewing so that I can find your um, progress when you post your pictures on the interwebs. And join us on Facebook, Long Army by Jacqueline. And you can also follow me on Instagram, where I am Massey, M-A-S-S-E-Y dot J-C. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.